Bedford attack. Got the kicking option in Ollie Grove as well, of course, at 12. Has been playing 10. But it's defensive duties and tackling to be done. First up for London Scottish. Yeah, Tom Griffiths is in there. Spinning round now for Bedford. Nine out, second work by Mikey Howard. And again, the driving ball comes through. And you've got Fenton Wells at the back, Alan Mark Bright in a Scottish jersey. And now they go. Taylor just drops on up for Tom Griffiths. He's a tough young lad. It's becoming sort of uh, a procession of possession for for the Blues. Not completed. It's on a counter drive. Here they go again, mate. And it's Nick Fenton Wells who splits off and he scores. And start getting back out of, of their own half and putting some pressure onto the Blues. Sharp. Uh, it's a nice oh, they're off, Johnny. Don't put your microphone down, mate. I want to play this with a lot of pace. And again, Henry Taylor just saying, no, we're not going to go there. We're going to go for the little try. That was Lundberg. Sharp looking inside. Oh, Le Bourgeois bags the bonus. Going to another line out, and that was going to... They were going to stop. It's amazing to think they are any sort of um, semi-pro. <laughs> But again, it's another out. indiscretion at scrum time has given Blues. You can see the momentum and the passion they're playing with. They're playing with smiles on their faces. Absolutely. The brand of rugby that people want to play, whether it be those, those dual rage yeah. players, those lone players, or whether it be the Bedford players who've been here for ages, they can express themselves. But there's the moment that could just bring London Scottish back into this game. Playing with too much width, and Rory Hughes is there. To score a really simple one back for London Scottish, and that has stunned and somewhat silenced Goldington Road. Well, he's trying to get his players up, and actually, in defence, he's been outstanding. And this, unfortunately, what can happen with Jake Sharp? He does it too often, he fizzes the ball, it's all one way traffic. It, well, it was up until about the 38th minute, and then Hughes has seen it. He's seen that ball just looping up there, and this has happened on more than one occasion for Bedford Blues. It is a weakness it's in Sharp's game, and it's uh, it's great vision from Hughes and a good finish. And just what Scottish need, just what this game needed. They've got a little bit of really just coming into that second hand. Same result for the driving mall, isn't it? Spinning off the side, Benton Wells was shot to the base of the driving mall. Need something, have to score here. More! And a half an hour to go. Walker controlling. They're over that line, it will be a score. Watch players, Lionel. They needed it. They had to score there, did London Scottish. Chris Walker just congratulates Cosgrove right at the front of that driving mall. And they have something back, London Scottish. Well, it was a great take from Will Carrick Smith. It was almost going down Bedford's side. He just manages to get it back, and normally it's bright at the back this time. It's Walker, the Kiwi is there, and again, pretty soft from Bedford, but he's exactly what they needed. Superb all day, he's led really well, he's over the right options, isn't he? That's Brian Kwesnicki. Well, you need someone who's, who's going to make those right options, and when they wanted the call's got to be right in the line at the scrum's gone OK, and look, he's, he's been, it's been good for him because, again, he's been a commanding front five, but he's been standout. Stand up performance. The London Scottish still coming here. 
started the day in eight, didn't they? They remain in eight, of course, for the rest of the fixtures tomorrow. But it's another game. P. Richard said to me before on the field, he had a funny feeling about today, a good feeling. That has not transpired, has it? Well, they're, they're, they're looking the wrong way, aren't they, Scottish? They're looking down rather than up. I don't think they'll be there yeah. or thereabouts. There's too much quality, but it's a it's a horrible thing losing all these games, and all of a sudden teams underneath you start winning, and my goodness me, your confidence goes well, the confidence goes away from you. So maybe a try here to take into the next game could be a fill-up. It's tight in the middle of the field, middle of that table in the championship. Philly go on to a couple of British and Irish Cup games against an Ospreys Premiership Select 15 in Munster 8. Next Championship game is Yorkshire Carnegie at home, then London Welsh away, and then the Pirates at home. Difficult fixtures all, then Nottingham away from London Scottish. Lee Miller. And I'm checking legality of the tackle. It's, it's a couple of. Swinging arm, Starry. I... No idea, I'm checking it. Let's have a wee look. Lee Miller going in. It's bourgeois, you but you no, all he's done, he hasn't gone in deliberately. He's actually behind, his right hand is obviously behind where he wanted to make the tackle. He's just held his hand up, he hasn't made. And then Allo comes in, but he's purely. Just... Well, what's he... happened is Miller's, Miller's dipping for the line anyway to ground the. First of all, there's no try. Okay, it's so lost no try. forward. Okay. But. Blue 13 has come in and committed a, a tackle around the neck high on that player. Can I just check the blue number? Is it blue 13 you're saying? Blue 13. OK. OK. Captain, please. And... Yeah. Probably... Conversation is going over to the team. Yeah, without the foul the play, a try Once might have been scored. Well Probably a try would have been scored. Over. OK, kids, so the facts a, on the table is it's no try to start with. However, yeah. Blue 13 has committed foul play. Yeah. It's a yellow card against Blue 13 and yeah. a penalty try. Correct. OK, thank you, guys. The tap, there's no try. The tackle is illegal. It's a penalty try against 13. So I need 13. 13. <laughs> Dangerous tackle, and it's a penalty try. I'll find out for you now. Okay. Penalty try, penalty try is the <laughs> judgment. Okay, so the time check as well, please. Michael Bourgeois is, is that's, being given a yellow card. That's a dangerous tackle. 